living their best life and my daddy like in the grave, you know? DT Squad, it's your girl Delisa, and I'm back with another video. Actually, I will be doing a story time, as y'all can tell by the title. I will be doing a story time, or trying to tell y'all the story time about how my dad passed. And I know I was supposed to be got this out, like, probably like a year or two ago. But, you know, the, like, these type of situations, those topics are not easy to talk about. So, I'm going to do my best and, like... You know, tell y'all from what I can, you know, I was eight years old at the time. But if y'all want to, you know, the ones that will ask me to do this, like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm putting no ads in this. I'm just going to tell y'all the story. So let's take it back. Um, let's get started. So um, it happened March, March the 9th. I mean, March 9, 1997. Um, I'm going to take it back to earlier that day. I was just saying, you got to run down. I was the, like, I was the daddy's girl. Like, when I say I was a dad, like, I got everything, like, anything I wanted, everything. And, um, I actually was staying with my dad. My mom and my dad, um, they separated. But they were still married, but they were, they lived in separate houses. They had separated because they couldn't live together. So, you know situations like that so my mom had her own place and my dad had his own place but i love staying with my dad i love being with my dad so at the time um like going to school you know you, you know you had to be with your mom and stuff so um i was with my mom and um i was at home i was you know at her house and well, you know that's considered home too we was home and i had called my dad Early that day, it was like, I was like, I was blowing up my daddy phone. Um, I was like, I was like calling, calling, calling. Because my daddy supposed to pick me up from my mama's house. So I was like, I'm calling, calling. I'm like, okay, why the heck my daddy ain't picking up? Like, mine, I'm eight years old. So, like, every time I call my daddy, my daddy, like, picked up or he was right there. Like, always. So, but that day, I just kept calling, calling. And my dad didn't never pick up his phone. He didn't call me back or anything. So I called till like it was like late. I called till it was like it got actually it was dark outside. I kept calling. I'm like, why is my dad not picking my phone? I just don't understand. My mom was like, um, y'all, like, it's me and my sister. My sister was only three at the time. So she was like, go ahead and get your bath. Um, he'll, um, call you in the morning or, you know, he'll probably be out, be by here to pick you up. So I took my bell. I remember, t um, well, you know, we're taking our bell and we, she got us ready for bed. So went to bed. Um, I want to say it was like three or four that morning and four that morning, like, you know, actually March the you know, March the 9th, actually that day, if y'all understand, like, it was March the 8th, but, you know, following that, that morning, it fell March the 9th, if, I hope that makes sense, um, it was, like, 3 or 4 that morning, might have been later there, but I know it was, like, early in the morning, um, the phone was ringing off the hood, and, like, like, nobody don't never call, like, that type of morning. When you get them type of phone calls, if something don't happen, you know, you are, you say, like, what the heck is going on? Like, what's somebody on dead, you know? And, um, I just remember, I remember my mama was in the kitchen. And that's when, you know, y'all had the, um, not the, you know, the phones that be on the wall, the, them phones. And she picked up that phone, like, she was on the phone. And I was like... And then I only thing my mama didn't say anything. She just dropped the phone and she was crying, crying. And I was like, and we like we had she like we woke up in the midst of that because like it was like so loud and like she was like she was like crying and stuff. And then she like you heard a lot of, like commotion in the uh, kitchen. And we were trying to figure out like why is mama crying? Like what's wrong? My sister was only three, so my sister was crying too because she was three years old. She didn't know you know when you see somebody else cry, you cry too. You're like what's going on? 
And they didn't understand why my mom was crying. And then she finally said, she was like, your daddy, your daddy's gone. And I was like, where daddy at? Like, like, is he coming to pick me up or what? Cause I'm ready to go home. And he was like, she was like, your daddy's not coming. I didn't, like, it was not resting in my head. Like, what you mean he's not coming? And then she was like, your dad, your, your dad has, uh, passed away. Like, y'all. <laughs> Like, it was, um, it's just, like, I was, I just remember, like, what, like, stop playing with me, like, I'm trying to get emotional. I was trying to smile, they keep on crying, but I was like, stop playing with me, like, what do you, like, my daddy's, like, nothing happened to my daddy, like, stop playing. And then she was like, no, your daddy is gone, like, and then, um, the hot dip, the hospital call, and it was like, your husband has uh deceased and like we were, everybody was like no 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 like like what happened what happened what happened so that night that you know the night um coming up you know that sink or that early that day were well, morning whatever however that night it turned into morning it turned into the night um he was at uh, a club um it was like a vfw club or something and uh he was um, he was in his car and with some dudes, like, um, it was like four, three of them. I think it was three of them. I can't really remember. Three or four of them. And it was just, they, um, uh, they saw my dad and they saw the car. And what, what happened before, um, somebody had, a, somebody had a car just, I'm not mentioning that. His, his car was just like my dad's. He, he had, his name was Greg too. You know, I'm not going to say go to more things, but his name is great, too. Um, and, like, something had happened in uh, another town, like, city, whatever, that, you know, they thought it was my dad that actually did it, but my dad didn't have nothing to do with it. So, basically, my dad was killed because he was mistaken for someone else. Like my dad, like him, and my dad had the same color car. They had they named the same. You know, the last name was different, but at the time, these dudes didn't know. They just said they heard somebody had yelled my dad's name, and it was like G. That's what we call, they call a G force. Um, and they seen they were like, oh, that's you know, that's the nigga right there that uh, did such and such. So they didn't they didn't never see the dude that what like what the event that happened. Um, but they just know that was that dude name, the dude that drove a black car and his name was Greg. So they automatically assumed it was my dad. So they then it wasn't no talking, they just like went up to the car. My dad was in the driver's seat. Um, I actually think he was about to leave the club. He was in the driver's seat and they just started like busting like just it was my daddy got shot in a total I want to say a total of 13, I know, like, to the head, uh, growing. He got shot multiple, multiple times. Um, I was trying to find the pictures of the car because, like, the car was just shot up. Like, I had pictures, uh, but they probably, they I know they at my grandma's house, but I cannot um, place them. But um, the car was, like, completely shot up. And I had the car for a while. Like, the blood stains were, like, still there, like. I don't know, it's just, I just, like, I'm just still puzzled, like, how can you just start shooting and not know for sure if that's the person or not, that's, I mean, that's the wrong way to do it anyway, but you just start shooting because you think that's that person, so my dad was, like, taken away from, you know, my, my dad was killed for somebody else, and, like, that person is still walking around here, like, living their best life, I'm not saying they should have got down too, but... Like, they still around here, like, just living their best life. And my daddy, like, in the grave, you know? And that shit, I, like, hurt it so bad. Like, I had so much hate. Hate in my heart, like, for a long time. Like, I hate it. Like, I remember going to court. I remember everything. Like, a lot of stuff you think you remember, I remember so much. Because my, my dad was, like, my everything. Like, my best friend. And, like, that shit was, like... It still don't it don't still don't seem real that he's gone. Um, 
it's just like he just you know went on a vacation and it's like still gone for a little bit but he's coming back but i mean and the day is september the 20th which is my that's why i decided to do this the day is my daddy birthday and at the time my daddy um passed away he was uh only 28 so yeah and i'm i just you know i'm 30 but it, it just hurts like like my daddy didn't even do anything he was just he was just killed for somebody else huh? but i uh, did not want to cry on camera <laughs> but um i think about it all the time like i think about like all the good times I, i'm glad that i was able to you know spend like the eight years that i did like get to come <laughs> And I did to get to spend with him. My daddy was like so funny, y'all. Like my daddy, like we do parties all the time. Like my part, my daddy was like a people person, so we had parties all the time. But yeah, today is his birthday, and I went to his grave. Um, you know, we clean it up a little bit, but I try not to go out there. It's like. As much I used to because like all people say it's not good to go out there all the time because you were like you were always you know you would never get over it but it just it just take a lot out of you if you go a lot so I try to break myself away which I did but that's when I did the day because today's birthday and just like let him know that I miss him. Um, but yeah, that's um that's really what happened. My dad was like killed for somebody else. Um, that's fucked up. But it's life, huh? And then like I know like the dudes, some of the dudes that um killed my dad actually got killed the same way they killed my dad. I think it's only one still living, but he's like sick. He's bad off sick. But um, I actually. Like, in my, you know, I actually forgave him because I, I don't want to go to hell for nobody, but, you know, I actually forgave him and, and made my peace and, you know, just kept it like that because that's something, I mean, they, they paying for it, like, I mean, the one that's, they, they all pay for it, but the one that's still, like, he's paying for it now. And, um, I do remember, um, before the almost passed away, they did, um, reach out. They wanted to apologize, but well, I know at the time I did accept the apology, but after a while, um, after a while, I finally did. But, you know, like, I really just keep it distant, like, you do your thing. But, yeah, that's the story time. Um, that's about, I mean... It really ain't nothing to say, you know. So I take this mistake for someone else. But I hope y'all. I don't know if I should say. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time or not. But I just went on the family get out of my chest because I've been holding it in for a while and I didn't know how to actually come on and do a story time because that's a very touchy subject. But um. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, hit the post notification bell so you won't miss another video from us. And if y'all want to, if y'all want to know anything else or, you know, just comment down below. And I definitely, you know, if I feel like it's like worth speaking of, I would definitely um, comment back. But I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Be smart <laughs> and I'm out. Bye.